Welcome, witches and wizards. So this is part two of the ChatGPT series. And in this series, we are trying to manifest using AI through scripts and speaking to ChatGPT almost like a higher self. And let's be brutally honest with the first part, it failed. The, the desired reality that I tried to create within a week has not come to be. For this one, instead of focusing on that end goal, which is the applause, the appreciation, the numbers, I'm focusing on my mental state. And here's the thing, I, I already know this is gonna work better. And again, that's a belief system, so this is what creates our manifestations. But because I can change me immediately, So listen to this. Take a deep breath in and relax. I've become a new version of myself emotionally. I feel more balanced, centered and resilient. There's a deep sense of inner peace that stays with me, no matter what happens around me. My self-worth isn't tied to external outcomes anymore. I know my value within. I've embraced patience, understanding that my journey is unfolding perfectly as at its own pace. When I wake up each day, I feel lighter, more at ease. There's no rush or anxiety just a quiet confidence that I'm exactly where I need to be. I carry myself with calm assertiveness, knowing that the power of manifesting my dreams comes from within. My thoughts are aligned with my higher self and I can see how my emotional growth has transformed the way I approach life. I no longer doubt my abilities. I trust myself fully and I have developed a unshakable belief in what I'm capable of creating. Even when challenges arise, I handle them with grace. I don't get stuck in frustration or impatience. Instead, I appreciate everything with curiosity and openness, knowing that every experience is helping me grow. There's a natural flow to how I carry myself. My body feels lighter, my movement more intentional. I walk with purpose, but without stress, knowing that I'm aligned with my true self. My posture reflects my inner strength. Standing tall with a calm certainty, I can feel the confidence radiating from me and others notice it too. They see the change in how I present myself and it draws them in, not for validation, but for connection. Emotionally, I've cultivated a deep sense of self-love. I nurture myself every day, not just in big gestures, but in small. I honor my needs, give myself space when I need it, and push myself forward when I feel the time is right. I am kind to myself, treating myself with the same compassion I give others. This emotional shift has created a ripple effect in my life. I feel more joy, more grounded, and more clarity. I let go of the perfectionism and the need for control I no longer worry about how or when things will manifest. Instead, I trust in the process, knowing that I am constantly evolving into this version of myself. The person I've become is powerful, calm, and in alignment with the flow of the universe. Each, each day, I grow more comfortable in my own skin. 
I embrace my emotions fully. Whether joy, excitement, or even moments of doubt, knowing that they are all part of my journey, I welcome change and adapt with ease. There is no need for external validation anymore because I know that everything I need is within me. I am aligned with my vision, not because of external success, but because I've become the person I was always meant to be. My emotional growth, my confidence, and the way that I carry myself. This is the real manifestation. The world around me will respond to this change in the way that feels effortless. But as I began, sorry, but it all begins with the shifts within me. I take another deep breath. Feeling gratitude for the emotional transformation I've experienced. I know that as I continue to grow and evolve, the external world will reflect this inner change. But for now, I simply rest in the peace and power of who I have become. <laughs> Like it just flows, it feels so much nicer to say that. Um, and like from the standpoint of where I was coming from in the other video, like I wanna, I wanted it to work so bad because I knew if it did work for me, more people would be able to jump on that bandwagon and go, oh my God, let me give this a go. Um, and yet with that being said, it was, I think I was putting too much focus on, I need this to work and not on the journey. Um, cause I was, I was having this conversation with my wife the other day, like there has to be a belief system that's in place that is in the way of my desired reality. Or it would be here, that's, <laughs> we are constantly manifesting. So why have I manifested a, a world where I tried to manifest something and it didn't work? And here's the, another thing that I learned over the last week from this exact process. I, I love the grind. And again, I can only use references from my own life. So um, if any of you have ever played RuneScape, because <laughs> this is how I broke it down to my wife. Uh, and I don't play it anymore, but I feel like it's a game that if you're old enough, you've played it. But you can do this with any leveling up game. If you get to get chucked into the game at level one, and then someone turns around to you and goes, basically, like almost like winning the lottery in a game and being like, oh yeah, no, here's everything you've ever dreamed of. Have it. And so you then got an account that was 99 in everything. I'm no longer playing a game. And you can still find meaning. There are still people that have found purpose along that route where they've, they found purpose with their power, but for me, the importance is the journey. The importance is <laughs> leveling up mining, <laughs> room crafting a little bit and chopping trees down and lighting fires and leveling up slowly, getting everything to about level 10, looking, looking back and going, oh my God, look how good I, how strong and good I am now. And then working on magic and fighting and getting all your levels to like level 30 and being like, I've actually seen some progress. Because here's the other thing. If that made, um, if that last video was completely successful, deep down within I'd go, that wasn't me, that was ChatGPT. And the idea is, I feel like I can't claim it as my work 
if I don't have almost video proof of me physically growing emotionally with my community. And I think it's, again, this is something that I've, I've got to overcome, but I, I don't see it as a flaw because if I record videos every week, if I'm live every week, people can see me change as a person, then the whole world increases its vibration and can go because here's the thing the other thing that i was reflecting on this week is i want to have a rule set for life that i can give people um so that everyone can raise their vibration in the same way that i feel like i have for myself um because even though I'm not there yet, obviously, in terms of clicking my fingers and the external world changes around me. A lot of what I just read there feels so natural to me. I would say I have, I mean, we're doing the Love Manifestation series, so you know uh, my opinion on love. Love has always been natural to me, but I've always had that love for myself. I've always been able to carry myself with some form of confidence, knowing that it doesn't matter what happens in the external world, I will be okay. And so the fact that I'm, I've, I'm gonna do another script that's more based on what I'm already good at, there's, there's no fighting it, there's no disbelief. It's why I know this one's already going to do better. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm reading a book, Green Lights. And how does um, Matthew McConaughey put it? When you're scared and you know you're going to do something anyway, nothing can stop you. And so I'll see you in another week. I'll keep you up to date. And I look forward to seeing what we all manifest together. I'll see you soon.